All right. Uh, so first of all, Commissioner, just want to kind of hear your concerns with uh, the ruling that now we're moving forward. I assume that we're going to see this in the state Supreme Court level. But what are your concerns with now having the state require that counties like Spokane increasing from three to now five uh, county commissioners? Well, first of all, there are no other counties like Spokane as it relates to this. This legislation specifically targets Spokane County. We're the only county in the state that's impacted by this legislation. So it will impact us uh, from a variety of different standpoints. It impacts the voter because the voter doesn't have the access, the representation that they have today. It impacts the county from a financial standpoint because uh, this will cost us a half million dollars to put into place and a half million dollars every year from there on growing exponentially for the cost of salaries, office space, everything else necessary to implement uh, going to five commissioners. Plus it costs the taxpayers of Spokane County a loss in a constitutional right that they currently have right now, which is to uh, be able to define the kind of government they want to be governed by for at the county level. Right now, three commissioners. But if they wanted to change that, they could go to five commissioners or seven commissioners, what's called a freeholder process. This legislation ignores the will of the voters who in uh, 2015 voted um, uh, by 55% that they want to stay with three commissioners. They had the option of going to five, said overwhelmingly, no, we don't want to do that. And this legislation ignores the will of the voters. And they, they've already said, like you, like you mentioned, they've already, voters have already said how they want to be governed. Yes. And uh, this legislation then takes away, can you kind of reiterate that? Just Well, right now the state constitution says that you can go through a freeholder process if you want to uh, change the way that your county government works. Well, this bypasses that whole constitutional process and says, no, we're going to impose this on Spokane County residents. And I, I just think that, I mean, the Constitution is the document of the people, for the people, by the people, and we ought to be honoring and respecting that. We all took an oath to uphold and defend the Constitution. This flies in the face of that oath. So what, um, you mentioned uh, additional costs will be associated with this at the taxpayer's expense. Can you kind of describe what those costs are with adding those two positions? So just uh, the putting into place the districting process and all the, the mechanics necessary to divide up and create five districts out of three, uh, that whole process will cost close to a half million dollars. Then you have the cost of building new offices staffing new offices and everything like that. That'll be another $500,000 plus growing every year from that point on for two more commissioners. I would rather take that 500000 and buy five more police officers to keep my citizens safe than to pay for five, uh, two more politicians. Is that half a million dollars something that the county has? No, no. This is going to take funds away from other services that we provide to our citizens today, predominantly public safety. That's our largest uh, expense in the budget, and it's obviously going to take half a million dollars away from that. Like I said, they could pay for five uh, sheriff's deputies out on the road, keeping you and your family safe. So will that mean, does that translate if this does come to fruition, does that, does that mean a, a reduction in law enforcement? Where do you see that money coming from in order to address these new positions? Well, it, it'll obviously come from reduction in services. and, and uh, public safety is our largest expense. It represents over 75% of our total budget. And we're the only county. Uh, that was my biggest question. So Pierce County, Snohomish County, they're, they're already... In Pierce County and Snohomish County and King County, their citizens had the opportunity to take advantage of the freeholder process and they defined for themselves the kind of government, county government they wanted. The legislature took that away from the county. Now is this a uh, bipartisan issue? It was uh, supported by bipartisan uh, support because, in my opinion, I think I've got uh, state legislators that at some point in their future want to become county commissioners and know that uh, winning an election on a countywide basis would going to be very problematic, but winning it in a smaller district where, you know, they could, uh, whether it's in the far left or the far right, could probably win in a smaller district as opposed to a countywide election. As county commissioners, we should be representing the interest of everybody in the county, not just those in our district. To be able to get to the state Supreme Court, you have to go through a local court, which is the Superior Court. So we've done that. Regardless of who won at the Superior Court level, I'm comfortable that whoever the prevailing party was, the um, uh, other party would appeal to the state Supreme Court, because the state Supreme Court is the ultimate determinator of uh, constitutional issues. And so I'm comfortable that we will end up before the state Supreme Court. And we were going to go there regardless of who won. 
can voters, can the public help weigh in at any in any way to, to maybe help? I mean, obviously they've already said, uh, the public's already said how they want to be governed, but at this point in the process, can their opinion or their uh, any way can they help uh, in making that decision at the state level? At this point, it's in the hands of the courts, and so we hope that the courts will ultimately rule in uh, favor of Spokane County and uh, the Washington State Association of Counties. Keep in mind that this is not just an initiative of Spokane County. All 39 counties in the state joined us in this litigation and also are uh, paying for the cost of this litigation because they know that if this legislature can do this to Spokane County, it can do it to any county. And so uh, the Constitution means something to us and we're hoping that the Supreme Court will ultimately side with us and defend the Constitution and provide those rights back to the citizens of this state and specifically the citizens of Spokane County. But Spokane is growing. Spokane County is continuing to grow. So wouldn't you agree that maybe this is the right step as far as um, adding commissioners in order to address the growing population of Spokane County since we're the only county without that, that increased number of commissioners? Well, if everything is going well with three commissioners, why would you want to change it? And so, you know, I, I look at Los Angeles County, uh, which has five commissioners and a population of over 10 million. The two million constituents per commissioner, we're not anywhere close to that. And uh, so the, the, the argument that you need greater representation to accomplish what? I find it interesting that people that have never done this job before are trying to tell this county and these commissioners how to do the job. Um, what's your expertise in this? I also point out the fact that it's not only Spokane County and the Washington State Association of Counties, but former Commissioner County uh, John Ross Kelly, a Democrat, and I are also personally involved with this litigation to fight for the rights of the taxpayers in this community and also to be able to uh, uh, make sure that our citizens have constitutional provisions guaranteed to them, which includes defining how they want their county government to be formed. And from your position, uh, would you say you're not, as, a, as commissioner, uh, with our growing population, you don't feel overwhelmed by any means by the increasing population? It's not something that's kind of uh, too much to manage that we, we would need five total commissioners? No, I would point out, too, that uh, those counties that have more than three commissioners are all on the western side of the state and are all dealing with a lot of other issues that we just don't have. Quite frankly, I don't have to worry about a tsunami hitting Spokane County. Uh, or any other kind of weather conditions or earthquake conditions or anything like that they have to deal with on the other side of the state. So are the three of us handling it? Evidently we're growing and we're very, growing very well. So why change it? 